So it is Holy Week. We came, we conquered, let's roll. My eyes have been itching me like crazy. This pollen, doing the most. Let me put you down on game. So Penny Chew here, Shadow Dig over here. Amazon was trying to play me. And when I tell you, we sleep on a cloud every night. You and me were meant to be as one. The universe has known it all along. Written in the stars, you will be I'm gonna actually water these first so I can see what it does before I repot. Just kind of looking at them, I'm gonna make sure they're not gonna. I'm trust me, this soil ain't isn't good, so they'll probably be dry a few days after, which will be fine, and I can repot it if I. But it's probably they're probably okay. Be okay, on the lookout for that. What? Near freeze day on Tuesday. What's today? Five days. You want to take the burlap off of me? Because I done touch one of those staples. Okay, this is now the outside scissor bag. Penny, you being a big girl out here, don't eat anything off this floor now. Be a big girl. Is Pop Pop gonna put anything in that um big pot anymore? No, I don't want it. I was just, I remember when all these were in there and I thought this would have been really nice to pop them all in there. I don't know if you ever saw it in all this blood. You saw it on the way out. Mm -hmm. I might have got a glimpse of it when we first met, but I didn't pay attention. I wasn't in that zone. Not yet. <laughs> Happy uh, Wednesday. I'm watching Mar <coughs> enjoy Mar. In his uh, intro, he's showing crumble cookie, and I'm like, oh, don't. That's not good for my waistline. But anyway, um, I'm, well, y'all can't see him here. Let's see. <laughs> there he is right there. Hey, Mar. If y'all aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Okay, go check him out. It is all the way live over there lit is that what you, are people still saying lit oh hold on a second you guys hello hey okay <laughs> bye bye 
That is too funny. How just talking about caramel cookies. She calling to see about going to get some Girl Scout cookies. Oh my goodness, that's my hairdresser. So I'm going to get my hair stylist. I'm going to get my hair done this afternoon. My two week shampoo and blowout. I'm a little bit early, um, but she's going out of town, so she asked for me to come. Asked for me to come. Hold on, this is kind of. Let's do it like that. Um, tonight. So that's what we got going on today. Y'all saw me grab this ladder because I came in today and my lights up here were out. So it's blown. It was only lights like in this back section when you first walk in on and they are connected together on a timer. So, you know, that's what it is. Um, hopefully I can find something on Amazon that you know like christmas lights you can just kind of find the missing bulb or the bulb that blew and then you can replace that hopefully i don't have to like buy two four six new light actually eight new lights so we are just now opening up and it's kind of br it's bright but it's not like when this is off man it looks dark in here um but we'll see but welcome to a new vlog we are trying to be back <laughs> we've just had a rough beginning of the year um and so now we are trying to live life on this side of grief um you know it's a hard thing it's a missing link and um, I'm trying to be there for my husband, making sure he's okay, you know, just making sure he's surrounded by family. And actually, that the family is surrounded by family, you know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, so we finally got the vlog up that we got up last week, and that's just really a compilation of about a month. <laughs> I didn't really put that in there, but that's what that was, and hopefully you guys have seen that, but, um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i just wanted to go ahead and open up this week's vlog and i hope you guys are having a great week when you're watching this it'll be thursday so i hope you have a great weekend and that you're ready for the weekend what are you guys gonna see in this vlog i serve this weekend at the church i'm a barista at the cafe so excited about that you guys one of my low-key dreams that was to be a barista at Starbucks like I just felt like you know I want to learn how to make all the cute little coffees and lattes or whatever I'm not even doing that at church I am on the what station is it called like the grill station but it's where you order like the hot food the pastries the sandwiches and stuff like that so I'm still trying to learn the difference between a croissant well a plain croissant and a like spinach croissant because the spinach croissant spinach and cheese is folded like an envelope and then there's something else a danish just depends on the flavor where it's shaped a little different from the original if that makes sense so i have to learn that before i move to any other station but i don't care i'm just happy to serve i'm happy to be in the cafe everybody is amazing everybody has been so kind and uh yeah i just i love i love serving in that in that ministry i've served in another ministry before the children's ministry really the babies and i do miss that uh but i wanted to get in the cafe so that's where i'm at so we got that coming up um and some other things some other things so just stay tuned as we kind of warm back in up into vlogging and me remembering to pick up the camera because i really just have not been feeling like picking up the camera and like editing every time i i started to in the past i would just feel anxious you know um and i want to be respectful to my husband and giving giving him the space and not having like a camera all up in his face vlogging when you know he's just trying to still process the loss of his mom so there's that uh, so you know if you guys do see him he'll probably just be in the background until he's ready so for now you got me <laughs> and uh, yeah so let me go because I'm gonna start rambling 
in two seconds. All right, bye. Whew. All right, let's head home. We got pin curls going on. <laughs> it's late. Can I get out this way? We're gonna ride through the city. Just so pretty. I love how the city looks. Ooh, this truck ain't gonna let me go. Easy. But yeah, we got our hair pin curled up. So you guys will see the finished product tomorrow. Y'all can't see it right now because it's dark clearly, but let's enjoy the city lights. so I just got home happy uh, Friday wanted to show you guys a meal that we were blessed with by one of our cousins one of our family members as a you know a gift for the loss y'all know people like to eat they like to feed you when you're going through it and it's by the name or from the name of a company um, instead of flowers instead of flowers so you can prepay the meal and then uh send it to whom to your loved ones and then they can pick from an array of meals it was probably about 20 something meals so what we got was the shrimp scampi and dinner rolls cheesecake squares salad and vegetables so i want to show you guys 
um, what it looks like. Me and hubby are going to enjoy it. He said he already ate a little something earlier the today, so it's not that big of a portion. It's probably the portions that we should be eating anyway. Um, but this is definitely um, something, a treat that we are grateful for, for receiving. You go, oh, I didn't, I wasn't gonna, I didn't know if you were gonna wanna talk. Hey, you guys, I want to review the Duke Cannon lip balm. I got this from Lowe's, you guys, and- And what emergency you had? It says, hydrate defense. It's FPF 30. All right, and what did it else say? Sunscreen lip balm, okay? Yeah. So it feels good. This is. But your lips look chap. They don't look no chap. They, they, they do. Gosh, man, don't do it so hard. <laughs> I did not, oh God. So I'm about to say it's so big. I feel like I'm putting on some truckers Vaseline or cocoa butter. It's probably made for the truckers, for the construction workers. <laughs> what I was thinking when I started this, I'm like, dang girl, you didn't put on no chapstick, so. Yeah. All right, so hubby just made a quick little appearance, but let me show y'all the food. So there it says jumbo shrimp. And it's, um, and it looks like some type of pasta sauce. Shrimp scampi, right? Yeah, shrimp, shrimp scampi. Uh, and then cheesecake squares, and then we got the mixed vegetables, zucchini and squash, and here are the dinner rolls. We have to heat everything up, and here is the Caesar salad, and it came in this really nice green bag. It is, there are ice packs in here, so we'll probably just melt those, but it's insulated, so we definitely can reuse this, but this is really nice. So we're about to have dinner and I'll check in with y'all later. Y'all, look at these vegetables. Oh my goodness, they smell amazing too. Um, I don't know what to watch, babe, because you know I'm watching Ozark, so if there's a movie out or something, I don't know what it is. Okay, I didn't know about anything else. Oh my God, what kind of package? Okay, well maybe. You gotta make it? <laughs> I'm trying to see how tall it is. I bought a lamp for my father-in-law. We're kind of sprucing up his bedroom. But y'all look at how little this box is. So I'm just a little confused, but this is the, the shade. It's there. It's rolled up, it's two. It's supposed to be two lamps that fit in here, y'all. So I wanna see if this is just that new efficient packing. Um, oh my God. I almost feel like. I feel like I need to put that back in the box. They go to home goods. Yeah, these look too small to, to say they're gonna be bigger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We got it, we got it. That's it for today. So, uh, we're going to eat. Bye. y'all happy sunday it's sunday so i just got done serving at church and i'm at target and i need to go in here for two things one i need to get a new soda stream um why do i feel like this is up in my face i need to get a refill so if you don't know let me put you down on game if you have a soda stream because you know you don't drink soda but this is the next best thing you could take this back to target and they will take half off for your refill so the regular price i think is like 30 bucks and if you bring this back you'll only pay 15. so i always do that and we're not completely out yet but i usually try to keep two in rotation so i need to do that and then i need to get some more good wipes 
the other target i went to maybe a week or so ago had the dude wipes which are hubby appears to like but um i don't use those for him i guess i could but it's something about them saying dude wipes that i'm like i don't want to use those <laughs> so i need to find some see if they have some and i'm trying to think if there's anything else i think we're good on like tissue and paper towels and um i just bought detergent and then when i leave from here i need to go to home goods because one i need to find some new silver earrings i've lost another pair of silver earrings and i hate that the ones i just lost were gifted to me from my mother just some hoops i i know they're probably in like a purse or somewhere am i covering let me make sure i'm not covering the mic somewhere but i don't know where but i'm going the home goods i'm going to is like a home goods slash tj maxx or whatever and they have like jewelry so i'm gonna go in there and then i also need to get some more coffee and some more sugar-free syrup skinny syrup something like that um so i have been putting off going in target and home goods for a little bit over a month you guys i just don't feel like going shopping something about i'm just not in the mood um but i do it, we're at the point now where i'm like girl get your life together we got to adult whether we want to or not we have got to adult so we're gonna go and get this done i'm changing my shoes you guys oh my god whatever the sh these shoes i had on which were super cute i got them from nordstrom's my arch sits right on the freaking sole part whatever the, you know what i mean so my arch is killing me but i did bring i was trying to think ahead shout out for that um and i got my k or oh, what am i gonna about to say k-swiss what do you call them converse so i'm gonna put those on and those are really comfortable they just didn't match <laughs> we got a match they didn't match so i suffered through the lord helped me so i'm gonna put them on now hopefully it'll be okay and then i could go in these two places and then get my behind home and chill today it's gonna be a very chill day don't have anything really planned probably go over to my father in love's house and oh i know what else i need to look at in home goods two lamps because y'all saw whatever that was amazon thought they was trying they was trying to play me amazon was trying to play me so we got to return those but we're going to look for two nightstand lamps uh that are of decent height because i don't know what the <laughs> is giving miniature dollhouse what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we we need to look for that too maybe i'll look in target and see what kind of lamps they have but target be trying to play you too with these prices i mean things are ridiculously high for no reason i'm just gonna say like i feel like it's absolutely no reason that, that, that things are i got a sweet tea yesterday for three dollars it wasn't even the large what are we doing it was a good thing that i was able to make it because your girl barely put ice in the cup i was like this is ridiculous. Let me go because I'm about to start rambling. <laughs> This lamp right oh here's another one look at it got the look at the leaf that is so cute and look at this isn't this adorable oh my god i love this this is so dainty so i don't see anything for my pop-up and y'all i think this is the height y'all look at the height of this of what came on amazon this is just too small for the space. It's cute, but no. Well, I almost like this, but I need two. It's like I see some, oh, this would be nice. Oh, then they have two. 
Okay, let's see how much this one is. This might be the winner. Hold on, y'all. 39. Okay, we can dig it. Oh, these are the earrings I found. They're not super big, but they'll get the job done. Uh, and they are sterling silver. Only 16 bucks. But I think this is the winner because his furniture is like this color right here. And I think the gold and the walls they just painted are white. And this is really pretty. So I think we're going to go with this. Now, if I had a spot to put these, I would get that. I also found two very pretty plant pots because we're going to put one of Ma's peace lilies in his room in the corner. So I'm not sure if we're going to use this because I don't know if it's high enough, but we'll check and see. We'll check and see if um, there's a tall one in our bedroom and we may just swap it out. All right, I think we're done here. We came, we conquered, let's roll. Y'all, look at this. Look at this track suit. Okay. Look at this. So we're going to get this one. Let me just show y'all real quick. <laughs> it's giving mommy's babies. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if Shadow. I feel like Shadow could probably wear this one. But Shadow is... I may not keep it on. I'm gonna get it for Penny though. Look at the rain coat. If anything, I need something for their feet. I need I need dog shoes. I'm just trying to see. You're gonna have to go ahead and get it. <laughs> go on and get it. Oh, she's a new mommy. About everything. <laughs> I'm a new mommy again. Because we have one and now we have a doodle. And oh, yeah. A terrier and a doodle. Yep, don't do it. <laughs> okay, let me go. I was thinking about it. <laughs> what do you have? A oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I have pictures. She was pulling up. Oh, she is so cute. <laughs> you know why? Since we pulling out pictures, let me let me show you mine. <laughs> this is what you do when your own children grown. <laughs> let me show you my baby. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we love. We have two bunnies and two dogs. Rabbits. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Do you have any play pads or? Ah, they run the house. They do? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, you can and train them. This is her here. Oh, she got little bows. Yes. I know I just She's about bows. bows. So you have a golden doodle. Uh-huh. Okay. A golden doodle. Yep. Yep. So we you do. part of, we part of the We are. We are. <laughs> we oh, are. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, nice. Y'all okay. have a good you one. Too. All right. <laughs> it's time to check out. Okay, because why does it cost hundreds of dollars just to be outside? All this stuff happening right now. Hey y'all, like, hopefully really this does not fall. So. Let me pause this. I'm watching Life with Monet. Hey, Erison. She's in the background. Anyway, so um, Javi and I are about to eat some sushi. I'm picking up some sushi from Kiroshiro. Oh, I think my hands are ashy again. Now, every time I get out the car, I swear I go through lotion like it's going out of style. Okay. I had to bring in my bum bum lotion because when I get out in the car, we still follow CVID protocol. Now, before COVID, I always sanitized anyway. Like, that's something my mom raised me doing. Like, don't touch doorknobs. Don't touch you know escalators don't put your whole hand on things if you can prevent you know if you can help it so i open doors with like my elbow you know what i'm saying my knuckles stuff like that but you know there are times where you still have to grab things that have germs you know when you open doors out of the bathroom use your 
paper towel, you know, and then find, you know, hopefully most of the time they have like a trash can near the door or outside the door, whatever. But, you know, since COVID, I have gone a step further. So when I get in the car, I either, what I usually do is pre-wipe kind of with the water wipes. I'll wipe like my face, my lips, and y'all, what do you call the doggone thing? What is the green monsters? Okay. The pollen ridiculous so <laughs> i've been like wiping my mouth for sure for sure when i get in the car because then i gotta put on some lip gloss y'all know y'all know what it is so i do that and i actually need to order some more young living um sanitation wipes i really prefer those when i'm out and i had just tried those with my last um essential oils order and i really like those so i'm gonna order more but i really love their I don't know if y'all can see that I love this because you don't it doesn't dry your hand out you know what I'm saying so I need to place another order but it feels so moisturizing going on it's uh, you know when you put it on it's moisturizing um, and it it has peppermint oil and moisturizing aloe in it and it's you know I love that so anyway then I put that on and then I'm good before I even crank the car put on my seatbelt I do those things but every time I like put on lotion and I come in the car and I do that the lotion is gone I'm ashy again the price you gotta pay okay to not be stuck out here in these streets because your girl ain't got time okay I don't have time to be out and that down and out I don't but I wanted to come on because why is like being outside feel like I'm paying my mortgage twice in a month? Why? Things are just like the way I remember going in stores. I mean, it's not like, and uh, trust me, I know that this is a privilege. So I'm not, this is not bragging or anything like that. This is actually not even responsible. But I've never really been the one, even when I was single, it's definitely not responsible to like look at prices of things, especially foods. Like when I would go grocery shopping, the foods I like, I just paid the price. You know what I'm saying? But the way that I look at prices now, like, <laughs> is there a better option? It's, it's like we're giving money away. We're giving money away. When there's a sale, is it really a sale? Like, is it really a sale? And in our shop, we have not gone up because of inflation. Like, we just haven't. And it's like, why are people charging money like this? For, in my opinion, for no reason. The way I just spent literally like $400 in Target and Home Goods. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. And what happens for me too is I'll be out because I'm spending like money in two places at the same time because I pulled up my Amazon because I saw something in, in Home Goods and I'm like, surely this is cheaper on Amazon. <laughs> and I ordered it on Amazon. Like I'm in the line, like, yep, yeah, let me let me let me order this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm just talking to y'all to kill time. So there's nothing for me to show y'all because everything's in the back. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, like I got two lamps uh, and we got to register why the screws, you know, that attach the shades to the lamp were gone. So like when I pulled them out of the thing, they it like fell off. And so they had to go and find two because somebody decided to take them off the lamps. Like who steals that part off the lamp like why i think what may have happened is sometimes people do this they want a different style of something on the lamp so they'll switch the shades and they'll switch the you know what i'm saying instead of like what how it comes it's just one part i feel like maybe i've done it in the past but the knobs uh, i guess and maybe it's somebody who somebody took the knobs off of the you know a previous set of lamps i don't know but i had to wait for that but anyway i think these lamps are going to be nice in my father-in-law my father-in-law's house bedroom and then i got the lamps um lamp 
stands that I showed y'all, which are so nice. They were, people were complimenting it, complimenting them when I was in the line, and yeah. But those four, well, you know, I got the dog things because we met another poodle mom in there. I'm probably gonna leave that in this in here because it was such an organic encounter. I love talking to other dog moms, pet moms in general in the store in the pit aisles like oh my goodness uh and then the earrings but yeah we spent 250. i mean i don't even know why so yeah that was 250 100 dollars in target what 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 did i buy at a target for a hundred dollars some towels soda stream like i don't even know how the math ain't mathing but anyway this is why I don't like coming out anymore. I'm try I'm trying to tell you. I mean, it's not even that. It's not. It's not the money. It's just exhausting. I don't like to be. I mean, it's nothing. Honestly, there's nothing in these stores that I even want. For real, I must say everything I bought today I did need, other than the few things which were the dog, the you know the track suits for the dog. Like what I actually didn't need might have cost me fifty dollars that's it that's it but it's all good but I'm I'm rambling and I'm not gonna do that I think this camera is probably about to get hot because it's sitting on my dash there's no tripod or anything it's holding up I hope it's nothing on my face if it is y'all gonna see it because this is real life so anyway let me go check on the food because it doesn't look busy so it's probably ready and I'll check in with y'all later Hey you guys, good morning, happy Monday. It is a Monday and uh, you know what, let's go around. Your girl is doing a little bit of tidying before the house cleaner comes tomorrow. <laughs> or I, I already asked you guys in the past if y'all do that, if you have house cleaners, like do you tidy before they come? honestly you guys this house hasn't really had a deep cleaning since around the funeral <laughs> and it is well overdue so hubby is actually over at my what is this too bright <sighs> okay we want to get that real uh skin complexion at my in-laws now he is doing another coat of paint over there before my father in love comes home from the hospital and I am currently doing laundry and ironing his new um, comforter set okay Penny so I need to be completely done with laundry today because I actually want the housekeeper to clean the laundry room I've never had her clean the laundry room before like you know deep clean it stop penny get off the, my my butt but since i'm so close to having oh hold on the laundry like completely clean i want it to be cleaned Y'all, Penny has to do this whole thing. Y'all already saw from that last vlog. <laughs> she has to run around like cre ah, Don't come in here. It's a little bug. Oh, I need to close the door. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know the warmer weather is coming. So mosquitoes and is she about to poo? All the things are ready to come in. You finished? So I had to come down and let them out because Penny actually cannot stay out. Really, neither one of them because, y'all, let me sh let me show y'all what they did. We're pretty sure that Shadow did one and Penny did the other. Shadow is a Yorkie Terrier and what they do is dig. And we think that she got upset one day. Probably, I don't know. Penny was in her cage. Not sure, but it happened last week. Uh, it looks like she's been digging a little bit more here. And this is what Penny did. 
this is chewing so penny chew here shadow dig over here <laughs> and this is tape you guys i tried to use the same method i used for the bunnies because the bunnies when they were teething also chews around chewed around here in our bedroom so we have to now we already knew we had to get this done get out of my butt we already knew we had to get the bedroom done and that's fine because we're actually pulling up the carpets in the bedroom that's the only places in the house that have carpets are the bedrooms and so we're going to just carry on and continue on the hardwood in there so we'll be changing the baseboards hubby had mentioned a while ago he actually wants a different style doors as well <clears throat> so we may do that and um we'll see but now we have to get this <laughs> down here we got to find somebody to fix this so i am about to one water these peace lilies <laughs> And turn the dishwasher on and then I'm going back upstairs to fold you know y'all know y'all know the laundry cycle you know what I'm saying so that's what we're doing today and then we'll go over to my father-in-law's house and finish up over there because he's coming home tomorrow and then we actually I have um oh a business meeting tomorrow so today is really just cleaning relaxing and uh that's it i may go ahead and uh start exporting like the footage and stuff on my laptop so i can edit tomorrow i have a new strategy to make sure that we are up and running every tuesday i'm loving it so far um i did just do my face my facial i gave myself a mask and i also put a, a spot treatment right here because i don't know if y'all can see this but i broke out with a bump here and a bump here and it left me with two dark spots and yeah, yeah we're not doing that we're not doing we're not doing that so honestly you guys i think i'm going back to products that i already used tried and true from hold on i got all the things on the steps that i need to take upstairs <laughs> Do y'all do that? Like once I'm coming upstairs, I'm upstairs. When I'm going downstairs, I need to carry everything downstairs at the same time. So, y'all excuse the TV and my bed. I'm in and out of it. But I am a Clinique and Estee Lauder girl. Whoa. <laughs> Let me pause that. How about I threw away my Stanley Cup straw? I don't know if I mentioned it here in the video, in the vlog already, but I got a sweet tea yesterday on the way in. I was just, I don't know why I've been craving sweet tea recently, but got a sweet tea, didn't get a straw, used the Stanley straw. When I was done with it, threw it in a trash can outside. And immediately after I did that, I was like, <gasps> So I did order another one. It'll probably be here. I think it's going to be here tomorrow. I tried to, it had like where I could get it delivered today between three and five, but it was like $2.99. I was like, really Amazon? What am I paying for Prime? Why am I paying for Prime when Prime is like same day? Some things are same day, but I got to pay $2.99. Make it make sense because that math is not mathing. <laughs> so it'll come tomorrow. That's hubby. Hey. Hey, babe. What's up? Um, I'm not gonna Lowe's and get more, um, get more, um, what you call them things? Plug covers and maybe some, some dents, depending on if they got the right ones. Okay. For the room. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, is it going to be okay for me to come over this afternoon and do the bed stuff? Uh, yeah, I'll call you when the coast is clear because we finished painting. We just painted until we ran out of paint. It's, it's still a little spotty, but better than what it was. We got to wipe off the furniture we put outside because the pollen got to some of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, don't forget that you need to give me the language to update the PowerPoint today. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you got a, a fresh one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. 
Ooh, he just reminded me of something I definitely forgot I had to do. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we need to be a little more aggressive today. So, um, I have a project, an assignment for our group meeting tomorrow, um, going through our financials. Anyway, what the heck was I talking about? I don't know. But, uh, oh, let me show y'all this. These. So, two new books that I just uh, purchased one is Jackie Hill Perry's devotional you guys we read day one today upon uh waking it's a 60 day devotional this is really good I am not a devotional girl okay I have one devotional and that is the Jesus Calling devotional I have the pink one and that's it I don't really do devotionals because of mainly what she says in the beginning of this and I won't really necessarily share it here but because y'all need to get it <laughs> actually I'll share it let me see if I can put my finger on it real fast so it says actually let me see seeing it in your man Okay, so it says, there's, you know, a whole lot at the beginning, but it says, um, basically what a devotional is, is not the meal. Okay, it's the appetizer, the appetizer. M my attempt to take us beyond the quick and easy is by centering the scriptures and not the self on each page. Each devotional is focused on observational, or I'm sorry observational in its approach with either form the goal is to stir you up to whet your appetite if you will for God and his word each devotional is a shovel once the cover is closed it's your turn to dig to open the scriptures using my observations of them as a resource not a conclusion my heart for you is that by seeing him then and only then then will you discover yourself primarily that you need him it's the insufficiency of everything including devotionals that signals your need for more than what we've been satisfied with what a typical devotional like content <clears throat> What is typical of devotional like content? We engage only as a means to check off a box or temper our spiritual insecurities. This work cannot become the measure of your maturity in which you read only to feel good enough or study only to prove your godliness. You are capable of so much more and you know it. God made you and redeemed you so that you may know him. That's the point of everything. And that's the point of this book to cultivate you the desire for God. I can promise you that a 60 day devotional cannot do that for you. God sent Christ to die for sin, overcoming the penalty and power of it so that you can know him. And Christ sent the spirit to fill the saints, saints so, that, so that you can know him. Y'all, I still get tongue, tongue tied with these priests. <laughs> he is the sufficient one. So if you ever finish a page on day one or 60 and notice that you're still hungry, good. Your stomach is being made ready for more. Be reminded that the bread isn't in this book. It's in the one this book is pointed to, toward. Close the page, return the book to its place because dinner is ready. The scriptures are the meal and Christ is the bread. Go to him and be filled. I love it and basically it's just like I would I would always just be like I can just read the Bible you know what I mean but this is really good and then the other one uh, is called morning and evening and I got this recommendation from Kanoi here on YouTube you guys um, it's called heart dive with Kanoi that channel and her ministry which is reading the word every day has been such a blessing to both me and my husband and I, um, both my husband and I, I have already read through books that I really just never touched. Like numbers. <laughs> just being all the way true here, all the way honest. The way she interprets reads and just puts things in layman terms is such a blessing it makes me desire to get closer and read to understand really what god wants us to understand in the word 
even better um so anyway she has a lot of resources that she uses and talks about in her videos um and she links them in her videos obviously but this particular one i was like you know what let me check it out because of how <clears throat> she kind of described it and it's really starting your morning and ending your day with the lord and so these two i'm really gonna like just dive into and and see you know <clears throat> is this focus on me and just let them lead me you know what i mean and then also i'm reading the unseen realm unseen realm finally okay i'm reading like a chapter a day maybe two chapters a day and then i have my bible these are just things that listen i have with me every day all day that's what i've been doing and obviously i'm also so in the fiction genre i'm reading our book club book <laughs> um watching you and we actually have a book club uh this weekend coming up so that'll be this will be our fourth book club and i think this is gonna be a really good one i'm trying to figure out what how i'm gonna like what kind of foods like what kind of little snacks and stuff like that we're gonna have at this one i need to go ahead and start getting that ready but um that's what we're doing today that's what we're doing so i will check in with y'all when i leave here to go over to my in-laws and we'll probably just wrap it up there all right bye hey guys so we are about to go over to the rinse hubby just called and i'm just trying to make sure i have everything i need to get no you're not going to be able to go hello fresh just came so it's not it has ice packs so i'll take that apart later um and i may make one tonight i'm not too sure but i literally just realized i left the comfort upstairs but these are it looks purple here on the screen but uh it's blue so we're gonna take that and we got like a little um neck bar or um what do you call it lumbar pillow so we're gonna carry that for him it's usually in my mom's um bedroom it's just for decoration and i think it'll be better used for him to like sit up in the bed he, he got um we got him a new recliner two so i'm just trying to make it as comfortable as possible we got these two pillows but i also ordered stop two new king size pillows because we got a new king size um sheet set fitted sheet so these pillows are going to be too small but we're going to still put them on so we have four of these wait a minute i didn't think this through actually these are going to go i think we need two more that means he'll have six pillows because this is a king size so the two new pillows are gonna go in here that's what i was thinking actually so the sheets the pillowcases that come in the sheet sets are going to be these but they're going to be a little bit too small so i may get him two more and then we can just 86 these because these are queen sizes which i had bought when we first moved here to go in the guest suite so actually i need to order two more y'all amazon these pillows i found about four years ago these pillows best pillows ever they are still lush okay plump and everything if you want to check them out i'll put them in the um in the link below but let me stop rambling and get these things over there i need to run back upstairs and grab the comforter i've ironed it and everything i just finished taking out the sheets for the other bedroom so that she can put those together because i love when she comes i could just switch the sheets and she'll make up the beds and i don't have to worry about it because that is a task to change duvets and stuff like that oh my god but where is the duvet so well, this is amazon as well this duvet guys top tier for real the whole thing i'm telling y'all our bed is inspired by the ritz and when i tell you we sleep on a cloud every night just saying well let me go use the restroom and i'll see y'all over there all right y'all so we are here it looks so good oh they moved the bed oh i like it 
Okay. <laughs> they put the chair in front of the TV. I love it. Look at my papa new chair. Yes. This is nice. Huh. I need a minute. One minute later. So we are going to make up the bed here behind me. Uh, and yeah, I will get him a mattress pad. Um, that's what hubby had called and asked me to do. But y'all look at this. He can walk out. He can walk out here and get some fresh air. Every single day. Okay, so I, I'm about to lose some battery. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. And then, um, <laughs> Because if I sit back in this chair, y'all, I'm not going to be productive. So I need to go back downstairs a couple of times and grab the things. And I will check in with y'all. My eyes have been itching me like crazy. This pollen, doing the most. Y'all, we back. Oh, look at my Miami mommies. <laughs> so we are back, you guys. Oh, lots of work has been done to get this house ready for the return of my pop-up. Um, so we go pick him up tomorrow. <clears throat> so hubby wants me, bed is now made, <laughs> uh, to, so it is Holy Week. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, <laughs> Jesus the Christ, okay? Um, <laughs> so we are having a Holy Week movie marathon. So every day we're watching a Christian movie. <clears throat> um, and what's kind of funny is that, well not funny, but <laughs> we watch Christian stuff all the time. But every day. What are these shows called? <laughs> the Chosen or um, a Bible study reading or the Bible project very good resource we watch so many different um, things of theirs hubby watches a couple others I'll put them on the screen or they'll be listed links below um, but he wants me to pick today's movie so I'm gonna try to probably put them in order we are gonna end the week with the passion of the Christ okay so this we will watch on Easter Sunday after church but these are the options so we have courageous we have war room we have miracles from heaven we have the prince of egypt and we have risen so i'm thinking today today's monday maybe we start the room the we room i'm looking at the war room the week off light so I'm thinking we're gonna watch The Prince of Egypt today. And then Tuesday, so let me flip that up. Tuesday is either gonna be, let's do Courageous Tuesday. Let's do War Room Wednesday. <laughs> let's get through the week. This is a really good movie actually. So let's, we're gonna do this Wednesday. Thursday we'll do Miracles from Heaven. And Risen seems like a really good Friday night um, movie. Oh, so wait a minute. Child. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wait, we gotta find another one. You know what? It could be we're watching the Bible. Um, it was a show that was on I think it was on like around 2019 um, and we're watching that so maybe we'll watch a few episodes of that one of the days that we don't have a movie but I feel like he wants to watch a movie so I'll keep y'all posted but um, anyway yeah I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog see y'all in the next one bye